Ah, concrescence. Concrescence is a word that I cribbed from the metaphysics of Alfred North Whitehead. And in fact, much of what I say, Whitehead provides the foundation for. He, like myself, had the idea that, that history grows toward what he called a nexus of completion. Oh, and, the, and these nexi of completion themselves grow together into what he called the concrescence. So a concrescence is a domain of extremely high novelty in comparison to whatever it's embedded in. So for instance, uh, you walking in the wilderness, you are a concrescence because you are more complex than the medium you're moving through. A raisin embedded in a cornmeal muffin is a concrescence. It is more complex than the muffin matrix in which it finds itself. So a concrescence is a local state of unusually high complexity. And uh, a concrescence exerts a kind of attraction. Uh, let's call it uh, the, the temporal equivalent of gravity. So that all objects in the universe are drawn through time, not space. Gravity draws you through time. Space, uh, gravity th draws you through space. Time draws you toward the concrescence. This is why the universe is seen to be becoming more and more complex, faster and faster. Yeah.